Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about C sharp inner exception. So let's get started. Uh, basically, I have a program here which is calling a method, static method called generate exception. And whenever the exception is generated, we catch it. And we are printing on the console the exception message. And we are also looking at that exception, something called an inner exception. And if the inner exception is not null, we do the same thing. We write ex dot inner exception dot message. So here uh, in this, I'm basically uh, generating a divide by zero exception. And the way I'm doing it is one divided by b, which is zero, would cause that exception to come in here. And I'm just throwing, uh, creating a new exception and throwing it back with the same message. So that's why you see attempt to divide by zero. Now the question uh, comes up is as to how you can uh, demonstrate if the case where inner exception is not null. So the way to do this, I have written a small snippet and I'm going to copy it to just to show the time. And I'll explain it to you what it is. Uh, basically, we are going to replace this uh, area with the message itself. And uh, what it is doing is whenever we get the in our exception or the exception uh, we are going to try to uh, open a file junk and uh, the intent is that we can log this information into that junk file but in this setup obviously the junk file doesn't exist so it's going to generate an exception e here so at this point what we can do is if you want to communicate to the higher level that uh, we came here through an First, this, we had this exception and then we had the second exception. What we can do is we can generate a new exception and we give it the message e dot message, which is the last message. And we also specify as a parameter the um, older exception that we got. So here you can see it is going to say could not find file this, this, this. And then it is also has information about attempt to divide by zero which it is sending here uh, and we can print it. So this is actually a pretty good technique and you will probably find it useful when you are working with any system IO libraries or any libraries that are generating several exceptions and you want to kind of maintain the trace and be able to handle this. So that's actually a quick overview of how you can use inner exceptions. Another thing you may want to look at uh, something called the aggregate exceptions. And that can happen in several situations. But essentially what I want to point out is that you might find this flattening of the inner exceptions uh, method to be uh, useful because if you had a multi-layer of ex exceptions, it can uh, flatten them so you can put it in a for loop and print it out or do something else. So thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.